哭。I don't know how to drive very well, but this guy can teach us how to drive. Hi guys, I'm Jason. Hey Jason, I'm Jared. And for the next few minutes, we're going to spend some time talking about one thing that represents freedom, independence, and fun. A job? PC gaming? Abolishment of slavery? What is it, man? What makes us free? And no, not moving out of your parents' house. Drive. Why would you even? Why would you even say that? You, you know full well that most people watching this video will never move out of their parents' house. Now, back in the old days, when our parents were learning to drive, there were only two things to remember. Giddy up and whoa! Giddy up and whoa! I think my horse is dead. But seriously, today we have super highways, we have heavy traffic, and way more distractions than your parents ever had. You know, safe driving is a bigger challenge than ever before, especially for new drivers. Don't worry, mate, I know all the challenges. I'm not insinuating anything. Now, you already know about how to wear your seatbelt properly, Airbag safety. <laughs> you know, seriously, did anyone notice that whistle in his voice? Airbag safety. How to use your mirrors and how to drive defensively. Ah yes, driving defensively as opposed to driving offensively. But in this video, we've got even more information that can help you become a better driver and prove you're responsible enough to borrow the car whenever you need it. In fact, I have a whole box load of different stuff to talk about, like your radio. Your phone. Fast food. Oh, now that's just rude. As if we'd eat McDonald's. I think my horse is still dead, guys. Maps. Your phone. Your Neil Diamond CD. <laughs> and hey, even your friends. Behind <laughs> you. Okay, you guys, please stop. I'm trying to drive. Now that's what I call a moving violation. If you're a passenger in the car, be considerate. Don't distract the driver. This person distracted a driver? Get thou behind me, Satan! It's not a good idea to pile a whole bunch of teenagers into one car anyway. And if you're a beginning driver, it may even be illegal in your state to carry this many passengers. Ah uh, yes, I think it is illegal in many states to carry a hundred people in a buggy. Here's another favorite pet peeve of mine. Girls who put their makeup on while they're trying to drive. You know this scene is not going to end well. Forget about the fact she could smash her dad's new car. Look at her mascara. It's a wreck. Your motor vehicle is not a beauty parlor, my friends. Yeah, I mean, it's not as if makeup could fix that face. You know another driving distraction that just eats at me? Just because you can order food at a drive-thru doesn't mean you have to chow down while you're driving. Thank you! Come on now. Can you really enjoy your chili cheese dog at 60 miles per hour? Honestly, I prefer eating my chili cheese dog at 88 miles per hour. Talk about your crash diet. That food is supposed to go in you, not on you. Oh, okay then. So that's what I've been doing wrong. Look, take time to eat inside the restaurant. Or, take the food home. Or, if you're traveling with someone, take a turn driving and eating. Now, here's a good thing to do. Susie has pulled off the road well away from traffic to make a cell phone call to let her mom know she's going to be home late. Oh, oh, good on Susie. She's a saint. No! And hey, you should never have emotional conversations in the car under any circumstances on the phone or with a passenger. It's just too distracting. Yeah, come on, Mum. Just drive. Oh, someone call Peter. Someone seriously needs to call Peter. That guy, that guy is abusing that animal. Other tips. If you have to bring a pet in your car, you should put it in a kennel carrier so it doesn't run around loose and distract you.
If you have to bring your little brother or sister, make sure they're in a car seat like they're supposed to be. And you might give them a book or a game so they don't bug you when you're trying to drive. And no, the kennel carrier is not an option for your little brother or sister, even if they probably deserve to be stuffed in there sometime. Dude, maybe, maybe get off the kennel? I mean, it easily could collapse and you could kill that dog. So maybe just get off the kennel a bit? <laughs> okay, so now the topic is distractions outside the car. When you're driving, there's a lot of things that can make you take your eyes off the road where they're supposed to be. You got your billboards, you got your fast food signs, you wave to friends in other vehicles. But if you get distracted, you're out! <laughs> you're out, mate. You're out. You're dead. Seriously, don't be a rubberneck. That's the loser that has to slow down and look at every accident on the side of the road. And you know what? That, that loser, loser causes, causes accidents, accidents of his own. own. That, that loser, loser causes, causes accidents, accidents of his own. own. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't drive. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to give me some support and to tell me your opinions about the video and suggestions to how I can improve it. I had a lot of fun making this video and I hope to continue making videos in this format for quite a while to come. So thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good one.